Gloom casts over the cultural arena as veteran journalist and cultural personality Kamal Lohani passes away. President and Prime Minister express condolence. 3,240 persons freshly test positive of coronavirus as the country records 37 deaths in the past 24 hours. None in the country feels as concerned as Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina for welfare of the Alim Ulemas. BNP Jamaat when in power did nothing for them, says Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. World Refugee Day today. Government doing its best to protect the Rohingya refugees from corona infection. Global COVID-19 death toll crosses 4,63,000. WHO urges united fight by world community against the pandemic, leaving politics aside. And Messi's Barcelona draw match with Serbia in Spanish La Liga. Assalamu alaikum. This is Shamim Khan, welcoming you all to News at 10 on BTV, BTV World, and BTV Chattogram Center. Those were the headlines. We now move on to the news and details. Ekushe Paduk winning renowned journalist Kamal Lohani passed away at a city hospital this morning at the age of 86. He breathed his last at 10 a.m. while undergoing treatment at Sheikh Russell Gastro Liver Institute and Hospital. Kamal Lohani had been suffering from lung and kidney related complications for long and had heart and diabetic problems also. He was found COVID-19 positive after testing sample and it was confirmed on Friday. On June the 17th, he was admitted to Health and Hope Hospital following his physical condition deteriorating. Later, he was shifted to Sheikh Russell Gastro Liver Institute and Hospital. He was undergoing treatment at the intensive care unit of the hospital. Kamal Lohani was born at Khan Shotala village under Ullapara Upazila of Shirajkonj district on June 26, in 1934. He was well known as Kamal Lohani, but his official name was Abu Naim Muhammad Mustafa Kamal Khan Lohani. Kamal Lohani started his career as journalist through the Daily Millad. Then he worked for Daily Azad, Shambad, Purbodesh, and Doinik Bhatta. He was president of Dhaka Union of Journalists. Kamal Lohani was also president of Bangladesh Udichi Shilpi Goshti, the largest anti-communal, progressive and volunteer organization of Bangladesh and general secretary chairman of Shongit Vidyaton. He was director general of the Shilpokala Academy too for two times. He was awarded the prestigious Ekushe Paduk for his contribution to journalism in 2015. President Muhammad Abdul Hamid and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina expressed profound shock at the death of Ekusha award-winning journalist and noted cultural personality, veteran freedom fighter Kamal Lohani. In a condolence message, President Muhammad Abdul Hamid said, apart from journalism, Kamal Lohani had immense contribution to a great language movement, freedom struggle and the liberation war. In a message of condolence, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said, we have lost a personality having progressive mindset and an extraordinary fighter of non-communal spirit at the death of Kamal Lohani. Besides, Speaker Dr. Shirin Sharmin Chaudhary, Awami League General Secretary Badal Qadir, Agriculture Minister Dr. Muhammad Abdul Razak, Advisory Committee Member Awami League Amir Hussain Ammo, Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmood, Industries Minister Nurul Mojid Mahmood Humayun, LGRD Minister Tajul Islam, Food Minister Shadhun Chaudhary Mojumdar, Environment and Forest Minister Muhammad Shahabuddin, Jute and Textile Minister Gulam Dastagir Ghazi, Expatriate Welfare and Overseas Employment Minister Imran Ahmed, Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momin, Science and Technology Minister R.K. Yafiz Osman, Fisheries and Livestock Minister S.M. Rizal Karim, Deputy Speaker Fazlir Abimiya, Chief Whip Nuri Alam Chodhri Liton, State Minister of Public Administration Farhad Hussain, 
State Minister for Industries, Kamal Ahmed Mojumdar, State Minister for Shipping, Khalid Mahmoud Chaudhry, State Minister for Disaster Management and Relief, Inamur Rahman, State Minister of Foreign Affairs, Shahriar Alam, State Minister of Civil Aviation Tourism, Mahbub Ali, State Minister for ICT, Junaid Ahmed Bolluk, State Minister for Labor and Employment, Begum Munnujan Sufyan, State Minister for Children and Women Affairs, Fazilatun Nisa Indira, State Minister for Cultural Affairs, K.M. Khalid, State Minister for Youth and Sport, Zahid Asan Russell, State Minister for Local Government, Shopun Bhattacharji, State Minister of Information, Dr. Muhammad Murad Hassan, State Minister for Water Resources, Zahid Farooq, Deputy Minister Inamul Haq Shamim, including other cabinet members, also expressed deep shock at the death of Kamal Rohani. Besides, convener of Hill Tracks Peace Treaty Implementation Committee, Abul Hasnat Abdullah, expressed deep shock at the death of Kamal Lohani. Bangladesh today reported 37 more fatalities from the novel coronavirus in a daily count, raising the death toll from the pandemic to 1,425. The case load has also surged to 1,8,775 after 3,240 new COVID-19 cases were detected in the last 24 hours. Additional Director General of the Directorate General of Health Services, Professor Nasima Sultana, told a virtual media briefing in the city. As 1,048 patients recovered in the last 24 hours, the number of total recovery reached 43,993, she said. A total of 14,031 samples were tested across the country in the last 24 hours, she added. Information Minister and Awami League Joint General Secretary Dr. Hassan Mahmoud has said, no one thinks about the country's alim ulemas just like Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. He said, BNP Jamaat coalition government did nothing for the alim ulemas. Dr. Hassan Mahmoud said this while speaking at a government assistance providing program from his government residence today. At the program, he handed over assistance to 500 mosques in Rangunia of Chottogram district. Rangunia Upazila Assistant Commissioner Lan Fakrul Islam chaired the program, while Rangunia Upazila Vice Chairman Shafiqul Islam, Upazila Awami League General Secretary Shamsul Alam Tanukdar were present, among others. Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud alleged that BNP Jamaat Coalition uses religion as a voting tool before election. মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রী বঙ্গবন্ধু কন্যা জননেত্রী শেখ হাসিনা তিনি এই করোনা ভাইরাসের প্রাদুর্ভাব দেখা দেওয়ার পর বাংলাদেশের সব পর্যায়ের মানুষের সুবিধা অসুবিধার কথা চিন্তা করে তিনি এক লক্ষ হাজার কোটি টাকার বেশি আর্থিক প্রণোদনা ঘোষণা করেছেন তিনি বাংলাদেশের সব মসজিদে আর্থিক প্রণোদনা দেওয়ার ঘোষণা দিয়েছে তারই অংশ হিসাবে রাঙ্গুনিয়ায় পাঁচ শতাধিক মসজিদে পাঁচ হাজার টাকা করে প্রণোদনা দেওয়া হয়েছে আজকে আলেম সমাজের জন্য যে কাজগুলো তিনি করেছেন এটি অতীতে কেউ কখনো করেননি কিন্তু আমরা দেখতে পাই নির্বাচন আসলে একটি দল বিএনপি এবং আরও কয়েকটি দল জামাত ইসলামী সহ তারা ধর্মকে ভোটের হাতিয়ার হিসাবে ব্যবহার করে কিন্তু ধর্মের জন্য যারা কাজ করে আলেমোলামা তাদের জন্য তারা কিছু করেন নাই টুডে ইজ ওয়ার্ল্ড রেফিউজি ডে The ICU unit, first of its kind in Cox's Bazar, consisting of 10 beds with life-saving ventilators and 8 high-dependency beds, inaugurated today marking the World Refugee Day 2020. The government, with the support of UNHCR, has set up an 18-bed intensive care unit, ICU, at Cox's Bazar Shadur Hospital to cater to the needs of forcibly displaced Rohingyas as well as local community with severe coronavirus symptoms. Member of Parliament Saimum Savar Kamal inaugurated the units. 
Member of Parliament Arshikula Rafiq and Senior Operations Coordinator for UNHCR in Cox's Bazar. Hina Kutaki also spoke on the occasion. Bangladesh holds over 1.1 million forcibly displaced Rohingyas in Cox's Bazar district and most of them arrived there since August 25, 2017 after a military crackdown by Myanmar which the UN called a textbook example of ethnic cleansing and other rights groups dubbed as genocide. Bangladesh Air Force sent three armed version MI-171 helicopters with night vision technology to UN peacekeeping mission contingent in the Central African Republic for the first time. The United Nations UN Chartered Aircraft Antonov 124 left Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport for Bangui, Central African Republic with these sophisticated night vision technology helicopters equipment and two airmen today. Previously, 123 members of the contingent were deployed in the mission area by a UN Chartered Aircraft operated by Biman Bangladesh Airlines on 29th May. This contingent was the first one which was deployed from rapid de deployment level RDL of UN peacekeeping capabilities readiness system. Mentionable that Bangladesh is the first member country of UN to send its contingent from RDL within the shortest possible time. This endeavor reflects the strong commitment of Bangladesh towards world peace and security. Global death toll from novel coronavirus has risen to about 4,64,000, while more than 88 lakh people are now infected. Besides, about 46,50,000 patients have recovered so far. While world experienced highest record infected number of coronavirus with 1,81,000 in the last 24 hours, death toll more than 5,000 across the globe. The United States is currently the worst hit country in the world by COVID-19. About 22,97,000 people are infected in the U.S. COVID-19 pandemic mortality tally for the United States reached 1,21,407. In Brazil, coronavirus killed more than 49,000 people, while over 10,38,000 people have been infected. COVID-19 killed more than 42,000 people in the United Kingdom, 34,561 in Italy, about 30,000 in France, more than 28,000 in Spain, 20,000 in Mexico, and 12,971 in India. Besides, a group of researchers said coronavirus was in Italy from last December. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia is going to uplift the curfew from the country except Makkah and Jeddah. Authority also reopened more than 1,500 mosques for prayers, maintaining health rules. Now, weather. Mid-Office said, Deep convection is taking place over North Bay and adjoining areas. Under its influence, squally weather may affect the maritime ports, North Bay and adjoining coastal areas of Bangladesh. Maritime ports of Chattogram, Cox Bazar, Mongla and Paira have been advised to keep hosted local caution signal number 3. Repeat, signal number 3. All fishing boats and trawlers over North Bay have been advised to remain close to the coast and proceed with caution till further notice. They are also advised not to venture to deep sea. Meanwhile, weather forecast valid for 24 hours, commencing 6 p.m. today, said light to moderate rain and thunder showers accompanied by temporary gusty wind is likely to occur at many places over Borishal, Chattogram, Rongpur, Maman Singh and Silat divisions and at a few places over Rashahi, Dhaka and Kulna divisions with moderately heavy to heavy falls at places over the country. Now news on sports. Spanish league La Liga leaders Barcelona were held to a goalless draw at Sevilla, leaving the title race wide open with eight games remaining. The Catalans are top of the standings on 65 points from 30 games, but second place Real Madrid with 62 can go above their rivals if they beat Real Sociedad away on 22nd June. Sevilla are third on 52 points. 
Barca's Lionel Messi went into the match on 699 career goals but failed to get his 700th for club and country at last night's match. Meanwhile, Villarreal beat Granada by one goal to nil, while Levante defeated Espanyol by three goals to one. In English Premier League football, Southampton beat Northwich City by three goals to nil. Tottenham Hotspur made one all draw with Manchester United and Watford also made one all draw with Leicester City. And now to end the bulletin, a recap of the top stories. Gloom casts over culture arena as veteran journalist and cultural personality Kamal Lohani passes away. President and Prime Minister express condolence. 3,240 persons freshly test positive of coronavirus as the country records 37 deaths in the past 24 hours. None in the country feels as concerned as Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina for welfare of the island ulamas. BNP Jamaat, when in power, did nothing for them, says Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. World Refugee Day today, government doing its best to protect the Rohingya refugees from corona infection. Global COVID-19 death toll crosses 4,63,000. WHO urges united fight by world community against a pandemic, leaving politics aside. And Messi's Barcelona draw match with Serbia in Spanish La Liga. And that's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you indeed for joining us and we invite you to watch 11.30 Bangla News. Until then, Koda Hafiz. ভাইরাস পরিস্থিতির উন্নয়নের লক্ষ্যে সরকার দেশের কার্যাবলী এবং জনসাধারণের চলাচলে প্রদত্ত নিষেধাজ্ঞার মেয়াদ আগামী 30 জুন পর্যন্ত বৃদ্ধি করেছে এই নিষেধাজ্ঞা চলাকালে করোনা ভাইরাস সংক্রমণ প্রতিরোধে বিভিন্ন এলাকাকে লাল হলুদ এবং সবুজ জোন ঘোষণা করা হয়েছে আপনি যেখানে বসবাস বা কাজ করেন ওই এলাকা যে জোনের অন্তর্ভুক্ত সেই জোনের জন্য প্রদত্ত নির্দেশনা মেনে চলুন লাল জোনে অবস্থিত সামরিক বা অসামরিক আধা সরকারি স্বায়ত্তশাসিত আধা স্বায়ত্তশাসিত বা বেসরকারি দপ্তরসমূহ এবং বসবাসকারী সংশ্লিষ্ট কর্মকর্তাগণ সাধারণ ছুটির আওতায় থাকবে জনপ্রশাসন মন্ত্রণালয় এ বিষয়ে প্রয়োজনীয় ব্যবস্থা গ্রহণ করবে শিক্ষা প্রতিষ্ঠান সমূহ আগামী ছয় আগস্ট পর্যন্ত বন্ধ থাকবে তবে অনলাইন কোর্স ডিস্টেন্স লার্নিং অব্যাহত থাকবে এবং শিক্ষা প্রতিষ্ঠান সমূহ প্রশাসনিক কাজ চালাতে পারবে সকল সরকারি আধা সরকারি স্বায়ত্তশাসিত এবং বেসরকারি অফিস সমূহ নিজ ব্যবস্থাপনায় সীমিত পরিসরে খোলা থাকবে ঝুঁকিপূর্ণ ব্যক্তি অসুস্থ কর্মচারী এবং সন্তান সম্ভবা নারীগণ কর্মস্থলে উপস্থিত হওয়া থেকে বিরত থাকবে চলাচলে নিষেধাজ্ঞাকালে জনগণকে অবশ্যই ঘরে অবস্থান করতে হবে অতীব জরুরি প্রয়োজন ছাড়া রাত আটটা থেকে সকাল ছয়টা পর্যন্ত বাড়ির বাইরে আসা যাবে না বাইরে চলাচলের সময় মাস্ক পরিধান সহ স্বাস্থ্যবিধি মেনে চলতে হবে অন্যথায় নির্দেশ অমান্যকারীর বিরুদ্ধে আইনানুক ব্যবস্থা গ্রহণ করা হবে নিষেধাজ্ঞাকালীন জনসাধারণ ও সব কর্তৃপক্ষকে অবশ্যই স্বাস্থ্যসেবা বিভাগ কর্তৃক জারিকৃত নির্দেশমালা কঠোরভাবে মেনে চলতে হবে নিষেধাজ্ঞা চলাকালে কেউ কর্মস্থল ত্যাগ করতে পারবে না শর্ত সাপেক্ষে সীমিত পরিসরে নির্দিষ্ট সংখ্যক যাত্রী নিয়ে স্বাস্থ্যসম্মত বিধি নিশ্চিত করে গণপরিবহন যাত্রীবাহী নৌযান ও রেল চলাচল করতে পারবে তবে সর্বাবস্থায় মাস্ক পরিধান সহ স্বাস্থ্যসেবা বিভাগের নির্দেশনা যথাযথভাবে মেনে চলতে হবে সতর্ক হন সুস্থ থাকুন প্রিয় দর্শক আমরা যে কেউ যে কোনো সময় এই বৈশ্বিক দুর্যোগ করোনা ভাইরাসের সংক্রমণ ঝুঁকিতে রয়েছে এ থেকে রক্ষা পাওয়ার একমাত্র উপায় আমাদের সবার সচেতনতা এবং সতর্কতা 
আর সেজন্যই সরকার নির্দেশিত স্বাস্থ্য বিধিগুলো আমাদের সবাইকেই সচেতনতার সঙ্গে মেনে চলতে হবে জরুরি প্রয়োজন না হলে একদম বাড়ির বাইরে যাবেন না আর বিশেষ প্রয়োজনে বাইরে গেলেও সব সময় মাস্ক পরবেন আর আপনার নাক চোখ মুখ সব সময় সুরক্ষিত রাখবেন সেজন্য হাতটাকেও সব সময় সাবান দিয়ে ধুতে হবে যাতে হাতের মাধ্যমে এই ভাইরাস সংক্রমিত হতে না পারে সব সময় ভিড় এড়িয়ে চলবেন শারীরিক দূরত্ব কমপক্ষে